I'll be using regular brooms for this project and I'm starting off by taking off the parts that I won't be needing. This was really hard to come off, so I just left it there. These are mirrors that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to start by detaching the mirrors from the frame. When I was done with that, I kept them aside. Now these are wooden note boards that I got from Family Dollar and they were for $5 but they were going for $2.81 on sale and I was super excited and I got three of them. They are super strong and I'm happy about that because once in a while I'll be putting heavy items on it. I need a flat surface, so I'm going to be taking off all of the clips. What I'm going to do next is take two rods and attach them to a photo frame. When I was done with the first frame, I attached one wooden board underneath. After that, I attached the second frame, and then the second board, and then the third frame. And here I'm attaching the third board. This is what it looks like. And I'll be taking the third rod and placing it like this. And then the fourth rod, like this. It is really important that you have something straight to level the legs together so that the overall shelf is balanced. After that was put in place, I attached all the pipes to the wooden boards. And then I covered the boards and prepped them for spray painting. Now I'm going to turn this over and put in all of the mirrors. This part of the frame cracked but I won't worry about that too much because the mirror is already glued to the frame. To cover the top of the boards, I'll be using marble contact paper that I got from Walmart. This 
this is a golden trim from another project as a leftover so I'm gonna be cutting singular pieces of it and use it to cover up the screws I then use the trim that was not cut to cover up the ridges on the pipe this is a Christmas ornament and I'll be taking off the upper part here and I'm using two and this is what I'm going to be using to cover up the top of the pipes for the lighting I got this paper lantern from the Dollar Tree and I also got feathers from Walmart I used just one pack of feathers that I got from Walmart and I'm going to be gluing most of the feathers to the paper lantern As I continued, it was not looking fluffy the way I wanted and it was kind of small. And I know I wanted something much bigger with more fluff. Something similar to this. So what I did was to get a 10 inches paper lantern from Walmart. I'm thinking about using the lighting from the Dollar Tree lantern for the big shade, but I'm not so sure yet. So I'm just going to keep it aside for now. I got this from Michael's Craft Store and as you can see it's feathery and has more fluff so I'm going to be gluing it around the paper lantern. They sell this at the Dollar Tree but the time that I wanted it, it was not available so that was why I had to go to Michael's to get it. This is how I want mine to look. So this is how mine turned out. It looks similar to the ones you've seen in all these high-end stores and I'm happy with the way it looks. I then took it and mounted it on top of the two rods that are in front. Now if you decide you don't want to use it for lighting, you can just use it the way it is but then covering the top of the two rods that meet in front. Personally, I love the idea of having extra lighting, so I got this from an old IKEA lamp, and I just mounted it on, and then placed my feathery shade on top of it. All I wanted initially was something like this, but then I decided to add shelves to mine, and I love the way it looks. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.